You were asked to watch this video because your doctor ordered a video EEG monitoring test. It is very common for people to be nervous about this type of test. You may have many questions, many concerns. We have created this video to try to help answer some of your questions and reassure you because we have the best possible team available here at Brigham. This type of monitoring is different in that we'll bring you into the hospital electively and try to help understand your seizures better, possibly by lowering your medication um, as safely as possible and understanding what types of things are happening to you that we can um, inform your doctor about and improve your care. Long-term video EEG monitoring means that you will be hooked up to an EEG and be on video camera 24 hours a day so that we can see what your seizures look like. You can expect that everybody here at the Brigham is well-trained and well-versed in seizures, in taking care of patients with seizures, in recognizing seizures, and really being as caring as possible during your stay. Many people wonder why they can't do this type of testing at a local hospital. We have a specialized multidisciplinary team of EEG technologists, nurses, physicians assistants, also known as PAs, neurologists, neurosurgeons, neuropsychologists, psychiatrists, and social workers who are experts in caring for people with seizures. The clinical team has advanced expertise in EEG interpretation and epilepsy treatment, and the specialized monitoring equipment is not available at most hospitals. We offer you the best opportunity to receive comprehensive and expert evaluation for your seizure events. The duration of a typical stay varies. Most stays will last between five to seven days, though we may ask that you be prepared to stay longer. Sometimes when patients have not had an event by midweek, the attending doctor may request your permission to increase the likelihood that it will happen by using one of several methods. Reduce the number of hours that you sleep, breathe deeply and quickly while you are observed, watch flashing lights, or come down on your medication. While you're admitted on the neuroscience intermediate care unit, you will have a specialized room with specialized nurses. Our priority is always to keep you safe. And in order to do so, we'll be using um, special, like, specialized equipment and we'll be working with you in order to maintain that safety while you're with us. Every nurse that will be taking care of you during your stay on the unit has had formalized training and education, not only in neurology, but also in seizures. We know exactly what to watch out for and what to do when a seizure happens. As your nurses, we'll constantly be in communication with the whole team that's taking care of you. Nurses are on the floor 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so there will always be somebody assigned to you and uh, watching out for your care. When you are admitted for this testing, you will have a team of medical experts overseeing your care, including nurses. You will always be assigned a neurosciences trained nurse who is specialized with responding to seizures. Further, we have established protocols that we may follow in order to maintain your safety during your stay. Although the nurses will change while you are here, shift to shift, day to day, they communicate several times a day at each shift change about why you are here, what has happened with your care, and your planned goals going forward. Additionally, the nurses maintain close daily communication with the rest of your care team and are happy to help get you answers to any questions that come up. If there are any concerns or issues that arise while you are on the unit, please let anyone on your team know so that we can help you. We work with the epilepsy physicians as an integral part of the team to manage your care as an inpatient on a long-term monitoring service and follow up as outpatient. We will review your medications and follow you throughout the course of your admission. We have an IV that's uh, placed on an admission so that you can receive medication for a big seizure through an IV to stop the seizure or to prevent you from having further seizures. Safety is a very important factor to us. We have you on bed rest with bathroom privileges initially until we are 
sure of what your seizures are like, and that sometimes we can relax those policies, but we typically have you on bed rest, have you with bed pads to pad the sides of the bed in case you have a big seizure so you do not injure yourself. You are monitored with heart rate and um, oxygen. If you are taking regular medications, please continue to take them. This includes all of your anti-seizure medications. Do not reduce your anti-seizure medication on your own. Please bring all medication that you take in their original bottles, not just your pill box. On admission, our nurses will take an inventory of your medications to verify how much you take and when you take them. Please also bring any special medication in their original containers, for example, eye drops, asthma inhalers, or birth control pills, so that your medications are ordered correctly. Please bring any narcotics or pain medications to be reviewed at the time of admission. These are controlled substances and must be supplied by the hospital pharmacy or otherwise secured in a locked area. For your safety, you will wear a cardiac monitor with an alarm to alert the nurses of any unusual patterns. This recording will be used by the physicians to interpret the EEG recording. Another safety feature we use is to have you wear a finger or ear sensor at all times to alert the nurses of any oxygen loss or heart rate changes through the sound of an alarm. You will also have an intravenous line placed, also known as a saline lock. This allows us to give you medications quickly should it become necessary. Since you will be mostly sedentary while you are here, we want to make sure you don't develop a clot. To prevent this from happening, our nurses will give you an injection with a blood thinner. This is standard at all hospitals to prevent complications associated with bed rest. When you arrive to the EG lab, you can be expected to be greeted by one of our trained technologists who will go through the process of applying your electrodes, uh, going through the process of orientating you to uh, what you can expect on the neurology floor where you'll, where you'll be staying for the duration of your recording. We use state-of-the-art EEG equipment here at Brigham and Women's Hospital. And it's important for you to also know that we record video 24 hours a day that coincides with the EEG. The EEG recording and the equipment is checked every day by our technologists. If during your stay you have any questions about the equipment or the recording in general, you can ask any member of the team and one of the EEG technologists will come to the floor and answer any questions you have. You will have continuous video and EEG recording that is synchronized to occur together. This helps us determine the number and type of seizures you are experiencing and may provide helpful information to improve your treatment. A microphone and camera will record your physical activity and conversation while you are monitored. The neurologists who interpret the study are not able to review all 24 hours of the recording and will focus on significant events signaled by you or the computer. By audio and videotaping your episodes, we can see exactly what happens to you during them. This data is kept private and the doctor will review relevant signaled events of interest. Monitors are placed at the nursing station facing away from traffic areas to protect your privacy. The audio cannot be heard out there. The bathrooms also do not have video or sound monitoring. At the end of this video, you may have some questions and the coordinator will be in touch with you to schedule the long-term monitoring. And if you have any questions in regards to your admission, your stay that you may have, you can ask the coordinator at that time. We understand that this is a lot of information. Rest assured that we understand all of the elements that are involved in the admission and we will answer your questions accordingly. All of our monitored rooms are located on our neuroscience units at Brigham and Women's Hospital. You will not be allowed to shower during monitoring since EEG monitoring wires must remain dry. We request that you wash your hair the night before. Please do not use any hairspray, mousse, or gel on your hair on the day of your admission. If you have hair weaves or hair pieces, please consider removing these as they can interfere with the electrodes. Please arrive at the hospital main entrance 
at 75 Francis Street and inform the admitting office that you are scheduled to be admitted for long-term monitoring. You will be escorted to the EEG lab where the technologist will place the electrodes on your head. After the electrodes are placed, you will return to the admitting area and wait until your room is ready. No gum chewing while you are monitored because it interferes with the interpretation of the testing. Also, you may be bored in the hospital. Feel free to bring any games, books, puzzles, magazines, or electronics. Before you are discharged, you will be given an initial review of your results. At the time of discharge, we will re-review the findings and what we recommend going forward. We will also schedule a follow-up either with one of our clinicians or your local neurologist. You may be eligible to have the appointment virtually from home. You will be giving the instructions on what to do if you have a seizure after you leave the hospital, especially within the first week. We will contact your doctor when you are ready to be discharged and provide preliminary results. Your driving status should remain the same as it was at the time of the admission. Thank you very much for watching our informational video on the long-term video EEG monitoring at Brigham and Women's Hospital. And on behalf of our entire team, we look forward to meeting you and look forward to any question you may have for us. You are now ready to schedule your long-term monitoring stay. If you have any questions after watching this video, they will be answered at the time you scheduled the admission. We will also discuss the insurance approval process. We look forward to participating in your care. If you have any comments or questions for us, we want to hear from you. We aim to provide you and your doctor with the most helpful and accurate assessment possible. Thank you for choosing to come to Brigham and Women's Hospital.